create that flight environment, right? Because we're stimulating those semicircular canals. So now you're going to go by just what your vision is telling you. And what's going to happen is you're going to keep fixation on that target, okay? So as I spin, you're going to keep your head and eyes aligned, and you're just going to snap your head back. There you go. Perfect. Just like that. And what you're going to do is, uh, once I start seeing your eyes, so I start rather do the establishment effect, then I'm going to have you, I'm going to stop you in front of it. I'm going to give you a three count. You're going to point at the target and open your eyes up as wide as you can. Okay. Are you ready? All right, eyes on target. Now what's going on, because you're going just by what your visual system is giving you, your QC or somatosensory system, you're not stationary. So what's going on here is, because you're not stationary, you're fighting for that angle, you're fighting for that reference point, and you can't really get it because you're not entirely stationary. This is really relevant for our students when they're out there doing their acrobatics, when they're out there simply in their dog fighting. And what will happen is because they're ganking and banking constantly, they don't have that reference point but the airframe itself, if you will. And what their vision will start to do is naturally we, we determine the depth perception of things, right? It's just something we do. And because you can't get that depth perception, your eyes are sweeping side to side, eventually trying to get that depth perception. It gives you that sense of disorientation. And it's awesome uh, to see. But like I said, if you're flying, and it's not all too well. So he's starting to do it. So we're going to stop you. Okay, on one, two, oh, and three. Point your eyes. Open your eyes nice and wide. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 and the 